Hello my friends, how are you doing? Today I'm going to show you a super easy way on how to fix overexposed areas in your photos and of course some more secret sauce throughout the video. My name is Olivio, I'm a professional designer and I want to thank all of my patrons who support me and make these videos possible. Let's get started. So Colin was so nice to send me this photo and I already edited it in my live stream but here's now a tutorial about the same technique and the problem here is that you can see we have these nice trees in the front with the pathway and the trees create a shadow but in the back there are no more trees so this is a lot lighter and you will have this situation often if you photograph outside of a door or something like that you often have different light situations so how do you fix that well starting with this picture the first thing i like to do is to just duplicate you've seen me do this many times you right click and duplicate the layer and then simply set it to soft light and that already does a lot of nice adjustments. I often play around with the opacity to adjust it a little bit better. So in this case, I would say 70% is good, but this doesn't fix the overexposure in the background. So what are we going to do about that? Well, here is the amazing and super easy trick on how to do that. You click on adjustment and simply create a curves layer and then click here in the middle and pull it down until it looks right. Don't worry about the rest of the picture. Just think about the area in here and does it look right to you or not? And if it does, that's the perfect spot. Keep it like that. You can close the curve now and simply go to layer and invert. So now the effect is not applied to the picture. It's as it has been before, but now as you can see here, our curves adjustment turned black and now we can take a brush that is white and we can paint this back in. I would suggest you use a low opacity. Let's go with 20% for example, zero hardness. So it's really soft. You don't get any hard edges and then maybe make your brush a little bit bigger. That really depends on uh, the area that you want to paint in, how big it is, how many details it has in there, stuff like that. And now we simply paint on that. So click and keep your click and just paint once over it. And this is why I go with opacity because I then can overlay it with multiple layers. And you know that in different areas, like here it's a little bit brighter and here also you want to click multiple times so you get it to the darkness that you desire. So this is really also dependent, not just on what you're doing uh, with your curve, but how much you of that you paint into the picture afterwards. And of course, the curve isn't magically solving overexposure. So if there are areas in your picture that are truly overexposed, there's no much information in there, like here with this tree stem, there isn't that much you can fix with that technique. But the rest of it, as you can see, now looks pretty beautiful. And there is another thing you can do with that because you can also use light and shadow to guide your eyes. So you can use the very same settings, which is nice because then you know you have the same settings here and here to paint in the shadows here a little bit and also to make the side of the pathway a little bit darker because this guides the eye it highlights the path and makes the picture more beautiful to look at so let's go with our brush again we have our curves adjustment selected maybe make our brush a little bit bigger here and then you can see i will paint in the sides here so they get a little bit more shadow also over here and here in the front a little bit kind of vignette you can paint this a little bit in here also like so that's very nice and then you can see we have these shadow areas here so for that i want to make my brush a little bit dark, uh, smaller and then paint over this like so and like i said you can make this as bright or as dark as you want and because it is a mask you can always go back to black as a color and paint into the other direction so that's very nice and if you now ask yourself, isn't this the same as dodge and burn? Well, the big difference here is that you have a curve 
that you can actually adjust beforehand and afterwards so you have a lot more flexibility and play in here and this is good for these areas where you want to uh, adjust overexposure and um, light so you can see here if I turn this on and off this makes a lot of difference and you can now also see how much better we can see the path in the middle because before this was just melting over here into the sides and now the path is actually highlighted in a sense if you know what I mean good like I said some more secret sauce here is something I also showed you in my last video so I will do it quick and then link the video in my description so you can see here we have these areas of uh, foliage I want to make the green nicer feeling more saturated more nice so I'm just creating an adjustment for HSL I click on green move this point over so it goes a little bit also in the orange areas and then you can just move this down a little bit this is really up to taste how much um, you want to change the color uh, reduce the saturation reduce the luminosity and you can see that now the foliage here like the leaves and the grass just look a lot nicer and a lot more like the green that we experience if we are out in the forest you can see now it's a not much nicer picture you can even reduce the saturation more if you want to if it that's a little bit too much let's go like that and then the last thing I want to do here just to have a little bit more center focus is to create a live filter for depth of field if you create this this will often snap to the layer that you have active right now so you have to click and then drag it out I will drag this on top and then just let's push this up here a little bit and this a little bit over and then I will just click on preserve alpha and heighten the radius uh, maybe just a little bit so we have a nice effect here where we have more blur here and this gives us also from the attention a little bit more center focus on the picture okay so this is how you fix overexposed areas make them look nice and bring them together a little bit guiding of the eye and a little bit of color adjustment and boom in seconds you have a really beautiful picture thank you very much for watching maybe join my facebook group where over 1700 photo aficionados and um, editing friends come together to talk about photo editing and maybe also subscribe to my newsletter see you soon bye